Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 92 of uh, this beautiful stay in place order. I'm saying that facetiously. Um, how's everybody doing? Happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Oh, so, um, another prime example of our wonderful education system uh, happened to me yesterday. Uh, I posted a picture of them tearing down the statue of Father uh, Hapiro Sierra. Um, and many of us know who he is, but he was the person who uh, built all of the missions, and that's what they taught us in school. Now, they, that's all they taught us. Apparently, um, after doing some research and after seeing some negative comments, um, there was more to the story than what meets the eye. And um, Father Shapiro, uh, Sierra, was instigative and uh, basically he was a span he was a Spaniard and he was um, tasked to bring Catholicism to uh, the to California and um, through the means of build, building these missions and in the in, in the way they built the missions according to Wikipedia and a few other sources um, <clears throat> He basically, good morning, Jackie, good morning, Bob. Uh, he indentured the natives, which were Anglos, um, and the, the into, you know, basically shackled, chain and shackled to build the missions. And if you were, if you were trying to escape, you were beaten, um, pretty much enslaved, enslaved the, the population, the population of California into building these missions for the Spanish. Why why we were sugarcoated this this history, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yes, the missions are still there. They're, they're monuments. They're state historical monuments. Maybe they shouldn't be. I don't know. I'm not the one to judge that. But I'm saying right now is our sugarcoated history system should be is it should be appalling. It's appalling that our that our children are still being taught this today that the mission system was a good thing. I don't think it was at this point. I, I, I did yesterday. I was like, when I saw that they were, he was, was a good man. He, he did lots of good. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Um, and you got to remember back then, my God was better than your God. So I'm going to kill you. And that's been the part, part of history that has been really hard for people to, to absorb is that my God's better than your God, so I'm going to kill you. And that that is something that we've tried to you know shuffle under the carpet. I I I don't think we should be. I think we should be teaching our children real history, ugly, good, bad. That's the only way you learn from it. And I think part of our problem in this society is the fact that we are not teaching them what really happened. So it doesn't happen again. And this all, you know, I, I, the fact that 100 years ago, there wasn't a lot of history known. You had one school teacher, and she probably didn't know everything. And But when we got into the 50s, where we started getting, going to, like, separate classes, and the whole, the whole school system really kind of developed what we, the modern school system that we have today, and, and, you know, so I think they just wanted to just tight, literally tight, you know, touch loosely on stuff. If you want to learn more about it, go to college and learn about it. That's not right. That's not right. You know, the Eskimos and, and the, 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 this can go, I could go on for days about this, but I'm not going to. Morning, Tom. Good morning, Susan. Welcome to day 92 of our little hostile takeover. Um... Yeah, uh, Corona Palooza in Oklahoma um, didn't go off kind of like they expected, did it? 
very few people showed up. They were expecting lots of people, but very few people showed up. And they, most of them were wearing masks, I saw. And they were doing their social distancing, but... Yeah, the sooner we get White House figured out, the better. Yeah, uh, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everybody out there who's a father. Um, thank you, Susan. Um, but I'm talking about Father Sarah and how we were sugar-coated the whole history of the mission system. Um, I mean, when you read what Wikipedia has in here, um, so, his, I mean, on his conquest of, of California with the 17 missions that he built, um, so the, na the natives are, are accusing him of this. And usually there's an accusation and there's some shed of truth to it, but proceeding of the over brutal colonization of enslavement, uh, the evangelistic during the Spanish quiz, uh, conquest and occupation, a period of which Native American indentured servants were beaten and shackled until during the construction of the missions. I, I would, you know, I want to, I want to lean towards, you know, that he was a holy man, which, but, you know, back then, holy meant, you know, my God or your God. Um, so I want to, I want to lean towards that he was a good person, but I, I'm having a hard time with that. I'm having a hard time with that whole scenario. Um, where, where is this going to stop? All these statues being torn down and, you know, trying to rewrite and trying to expose history. Good morning, Kevin. Thank you. Happy Father's Day to you. Um, you know, trying to expose history to what it really is. And I, I'm like that yesterday they were tearing down the statue of, of um, the gentleman. I can't, sorry, it's early in the morning. I can't remember his name, but he wrote the, the Star Spangled Banner. Franklin, Franklin Scott Lloyd or something like that. Um, they were tearing his, oh, all he did, he wrote our national anthem. I don't know too much about him either. Um, other than he wrote the national anthem, but hell, he could have been a slave owner, but we don't need to tear down all the statues of slave owners. Um, there's, there's also the, the argument that tearing down statues of Confederate soldiers and, and it is a way of, um, when they were originally, because the thought, when they originally put up, when they originally put up, they were put up to enshrine white supremacy. And, and show um, white superiority. And okay, that argument makes some sense. That may be true. That may be true that this, that, that, that statue went up for that. Um, but there's plenty of memorials out there that uh, Franklin Douglas, there's plenty of memorials out there that, that, that for maybe not as many as whites, but um, for, for African Americans. So I think there becomes a time when we just, just have to accept what's there and, and make logical decisions here. Um, tearing down the, the statue of General Grant is appalling. A lot of people don't know who General Grant is. School systems, here we go, sugar-coated school systems. Very touched very little on, on, on Grant. If you didn't, if you watch the miniseries on History Channel about uh, General Grant, um, how accurate it is, usually they are pretty accurate. They're done off his memoirs. Um, he wasn't a bad man. He wasn't the drunk that everybody thinks he is. Um, but he was one of our he was one of our greatest generals ever to this day. And he he was he was appalled by slavery. His mission was to was to was to abolish slavery and abolish that way of life just because slavery was wrong. And why tear his statue down? He was actually a good guy in your fight. Um, George Washington, the statue come down to George Washington, and they burnt an American flag on top of him. Yes, he was a slave owner. I get that. But 
that part of history needs to be appreciated and and cherished because General Washington, who, if you haven't seen the miniseries on him too, um, came up just like everybody else. But you know, when you, when slavery was it was popular, all between the thirteen colonies, six col six of the colonies were slave owning colonies. <clears throat> and all of them were at one point, but when the Civil War happened, only 20, 20 out of, 11 out of the 30 states were actually um, slave-owning states. Uh, and the, the George Washington statue, I don't get. I don't, I don't understand why people are mad at George Washington. Um, you know, he, 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 he can't, well, here we go, we can't sugarcoat history. And this is this is this is the problem. You're seeing the problem now. So, um, good morning, mom. Hi, mom. Um, I know I'm a little early today, but I need to go out and work in my yard while it's still cool. Um, so I figured instead of stopping in the middle of it and coming in here and talking to you all, I just do this now and then I'm gonna head outside. Uh, um, if you saw my post from my my garden, we harvested a bunch of blueberries yesterday. Um, muffins. We have blueberry muffins. Mother, I'll bring you one in a little while. Um, what else? What else we got? Um, day 92, stay in place order, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody that's out there. Um, hey, Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? Happy Father's Day. So, uh, Susan, we got Talladega today on Fox and HD. Thank God. The race yesterday was pretty good. Um, I, I feel bad for for Jeb. I, I was fully pulling for him. He really needed that win. Um, hell, I just wanted to hit, see if they'd interview his father, but I don't think his father was there because I love to hear Ward Burton talk. I love Ward Burton's accent. Um, other than that, okay, guys, so morning, Don. I'm just ready to sign off, but how you doing? Um, anyways, let's... Um, but I'm, I don't know what we can do about this whole sugar-coated thing with our school systems, but, you know, I think it's more important that we teach our children ourselves when it comes to history. Um, most people don't give a crap about history, but as as far as it next, next to mathematics and English, it's like one of the most important things you can know. Um, it will save your future. So, anyways, I'm out of here. You all have a good Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Elbow bump. Live long and prosper. Uh, stay home, stay healthy, stay safe, wear your mask because it's now required, and um, have a good Sunday. Bye.